Paris Saint-Germain have reportedly offered Kylian Mbappe a new deal worth a staggering 100 million euros a year, 86 million pounds, to convince him to snub Real Madrid's advances. The French superstar is officially free to negotiate with foreign clubs as of January 1 as he enters the final six months of his PSG deal. Reports in France earlier this month indicated Mbappe had agreed to join Real next season, just over 18 months after rejecting a move to La Liga in favour to remain at the Parc des Princes. But according to Afterfoot RMC, PSG are ready to make the 25-year-old one of the highest paid athletes on the planet to ensure he commits his future to the club. The French outlet claims the Ligue 1 champions have put on he-table exorbitant £86 million a year deal, which works out to approximately £1.8 million a week. Speaking on Afterfoot RMC on Monday night, French journalist Daniel Riolo described the deal as something that no club will ever be able to match, from a financial standpoint. It would be something never seen before, it is something incredible. It far exceeds 100 million euros per season, he said. It will have benefits for the brother, for the family and for the player agency that Mbappe's mother wants to create. Real's offer for Mbappe is understood to be in the region of 30 million euros per year 25.8 million pounds, which is close to double of the upper end of their salary structure. But despite being an incredibly lucrative offer, the figures would barely move the needle compared to PSG's proposed deal. On the one hand, we have an offer to have him from ancient Rome, ancient Greece and the pyramids of Egypt delivered to a player, Riolo said of PSG's offer. On the other hand we have something that is normal when we talk about Real Madrid, a deal worth 30 million euros a year and perhaps slightly more. It's a normal salary for footballers. On paper there is a gap between the two offers that we have never seen. What PSG offers Mbappe is incredible. The saga over Mbappe's future has been rumbling on for over two years and Real had reportedly set the 25-year-old a deadline of January 15 to decide, a suggestion which the club has since refuted. It would be suicidal when now we have all the freedom and the end of the season to negotiate and reach an agreement with him, a Real Madrid source told L'Equipe. Subscribe to our channel for more updates. Tottenham defender Sergio Reguilon has joined Brentford on loan until the end of the season. The Bees are short of fullback options with first-choice left-back Rico Henry ruled out for the rest of the campaign with a knee injury. Thomas Frank has used Aaron Hickey and even attacker Simon Godos out wide, while also deploying a 3-5-2 formation, but will be able to call upon recognized left-back Reguilon for the remainder of the season. Brentford head coach Frank said, This is a very good signing for us. We've been talking for a while about how we need a good left-back and we managed to get a very good left-back. Sergio is a perfect fit for us, a proven Premier League player in every aspect. He fits what we want. He's very offensive, has a very good cross and a very good left foot. He's got the experience we need to complement the rest of the squad and he's a good character. We need him, but I also think he needs us to show how good a footballer he is. I'm convinced that this will be a positive partnership. Reguilon spent the first half of the campaign with Manchester United and made 12 appearances, but returned to Spurs this month after Eric Ten Hag's side decided to activate a break clause in the deal. Another temporary move away from North London was always expected with Tottenham boss Ange Postacoglo boasting plenty of competition in the left-back area. Brentford have secured Reguilon's services in a straight loan deal with no option or obligation to make the transfer permanent, the PA news agency understands. One time Spain international Reguilon could make his B's debut in Saturday's Premier League home fixture with Nottingham Forest, but will sit out the trip to parent club Spurs on January 31 owing to the terms of his loan. Subscribe to our channel for more updates. Tottenham defender Sergio Reguilon has joined Brentford on loan until the end of the season. The B's are short of fullback options with first choice left back Rico Henry ruled out for the rest of the campaign with a knee injury. Thomas Frank has used Aaron Hickey and even attacker Simon Godos out wide, while also deploying a 3-5-2 formation, but will be able to call upon recognized left-back Reguilon for the remainder of the season. Brentford head coach Frank said, This is a very good signing for us. We've been talking for a while about how we need a good left-back and we managed to get a very good left-back. Sergio is a perfect fit for us, a proven Premier League player in every aspect. He fits what we want. He's very offensive, has a very good cross and a very good left foot. He's got the experience we need to complement the rest of the squad and he's a good character. We need him, but I also think he needs us to show how good a footballer he is. I'm convinced that this will be a positive partnership.
Reguilon spent the first half of the campaign with Manchester United and made 12 appearances, but returned to Spurs this month after Eric Ten Hag's side decided to activate a break clause in the deal. Another temporary move away from North London was always expected with Tottenham boss Ange Postacoglo boasting plenty of competition in the left-back area. Brentford have secured Reguilon's services in a straight loan deal with no option or obligation to make the transfer permanent, the PA news agency understands. One-time Spain international Reguilon could make his B's debut in Saturday's Premier League home fixture with Nottingham Forest, but will sit out the trip to parent club Spurs on January 31 owing to the terms of his loan. Subscribe to our channel for more updates.